Back in 1994, campaigning to become UK Prime Minister, Tony Blair was categorical in his opposition to offshore tax dodges. Look at the tax system. Offshore trusts get tax relief. Millionaires with the right accountant pay nothing. That was then. This is now. Mr. Blair and his wife Cherie recently used an offshore company based in the British Virgin Islands to purchase an $11 million building in downtown London from another rich government minister's family in Bahrain. It has become the headquarters of Cherie Blair's legal practice and charitable endeavors. The offshore maneuver saved the Blairs over $500,000 in British tax that would have had to be paid if they bought the property directly. That is just one of the revelations in a new release of millions of confidential documents from tax haven law firms that came to the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. Jared Ryle is the ICIJ director. I guess it mostly demonstrates that the people that could end the secrecy of offshore, could end what's going on, end the criminality, are themselves um, benefiting from it, so there's no incentive for them to end it. Cherie Blair wrote to the ICIJ saying that she and her husband had done nothing illegal and threatened to sue if there was any suggestion that this was corrupt behavior. The transaction was, in fact, legal. The documents include dozens of famous names, from Jordan's King Abdullah to rock star Elton John. The presidents of Ukraine, Kenya, and Ecuador are there, along with the Czech Prime Minister and close associates of Russian President Vladimir Putin, including his reputed latest mistress, Svetlana Krivonogich. Famous Canadian names in the leaked files include race car driver Jacques Villeneuve, who made over $100 million and streamed money through offshore companies that allowed him to avoid taxes. Through his Montreal law firm, he refused comment. Another surprising case is that of Elvis Stoiko, who received the assistance of Skate Canada to funnel assets worth $6.5 million to a trust in Belize. He says he was acting on the advice of his lawyer, now deceased, and had been assured it was legal. These continuing leaks of confidential financial documents are putting pressure on Western governments to finally do something about it, but so far they have done almost nothing. Terence McKenna, CBC News, Toronto.